Hello, this is Larry from Decent Traders. I traded two tickers live today. The one is on Tesla. Uh, the model was not working at the very beginning. Um, that uh, I really should uh, develop a new um, new data, uh, find a new data provider in addition to FinHub that gave me the data because FinHub have failed me uh, three or more times uh, these days. But it turns out it started working after nine. Uh, 45 during my trading time zone. The model says the Tesla, the lowest point, is going to be in the range of 15 minutes and 16 minutes. So basically, that's exactly the start of my trading zone. So that's the reason I took long here. And this time I made a button, which button is just like uh, $1,000 for a very small size for me to feel the market. Because you have to get in so that you can feel the market. But if you don't have a position, uh, the sentiment is not, not correct. So I put it in, and then I feel that my market, uh, my sentiment was correct, uh, and then I add to my position. Um, uh, no, no, it's not at. Uh, at this time, this price fluctuation is very uh, violently, and I feel my, my sentiment is not correct, so I flip to short. And then, actually, this is a, actually a battle zone. I feel the short is not right either, and then I quickly get out. So this one is actually a, a, a small loss. It's a, it's a small loss. But the problem is uh, uh, the small size is for test. When I confirm my thoughts, and then I use my full size, use full size in. So that's the reason why the, uh, the, uh, the, the loss can be, can be big if not stopped out uh, very quickly. And then you can see the reversal comes in, but I missed this reversal. I really, really, it's here, I long here, again, use a small size. But problem is, uh, even if I long here, use a small size of the, the price fluctuation, uh, again, shake me out, and then goes upward. So I feel that this is very, uh, very difficult to trade. And then I switch back to NEO. And for the year, I actually did uh, uh, some very nice trade. So here, the first trade is, uh, again, is a chase. So I use a very small tester. And then, after I realize, uh, after getting it goes against me, the price goes against me, because uh, but the problem is uh, the, the, the situation is, since this is a small side, I don't care. And then it comes back, and then I realize it's my time. And then I add full size in, we can see, I get nice partials. So this is the one winning trade. And then another trade is, at the drop, I long here. Again, use a very small size. And then, this time is right again, because here it's already very extended. I didn't add to my position, but quickly get out. But this win is uh, the winning based on a very, very small size. And then my last trade is uh, a long here. This is, a, again, a small test size. And that, again, is the chasing. And then, you can see that it goes against me. So since I'm using very small size, there's nothing to lose, I quickly flip to my position to full size short. And then I get some, um, a few nice partials. The problem is that since this size is full, I emotionally I cannot withstand too much losses. So I quickly get out here. So I missed this uh, uh, a further drop. But overall, it is a green day.